Hi, I've been working on scripts a lot lately and I thought I'd do a very quick introduction to scripts for those who might want to use them. One thing that's really amazing about Anime Studio is that you can extend the functionality by writing scripts or by using scripts that other people have written. I don't have debut, but I understand that if you have debut you can use the scripts such as tool scripts. I don't think you have menu scripts and in Pro you have all these menu scripts that you can do. So for example with the tools, all these tools that we use, they're actually scripts and as an example I wrote a lip sync script and you can go in and type in some information and it will create the lip sync for you. So the thing I want to talk about today is just how you would use these scripts. So when you get a script from uh, the internet or uh, someone shares it with you, it will wind up being a uh, Lua file, a file that has a .lua ending. And to use it, all you have to do is just put it in the right directory. So for example, here I've got a directory called Basic Examples, and you can see a lot of scripts that I've written. And in Anime Studio, I've under Scripts, I have them under Basic Examples, and these are the uh, scripts that I've written. Now the first thing that you want to be aware of is that there is a script location that Anime Studio puts things when it installs stuff direct out of the box. And that will be in your install location, typically under Program Files on Windows, and underneath Resources, Support, Scripts. And underneath there, there's a Menu, Tool, and Utility folder. Now this other one's, these other files are just things that I have on my system, but you'll have Menu, Tool, and Utility. Now if you get a script from somewhere, like the internet, you don't really want to put them in this location. This is where you want to keep just uh, the ones straight from Anime Studio. Where you want to put your scripts is in the content folder. And I'll show you that in just a second, but first, um, notice that it's got the menu, tool, and utility folders. Again, these other uh, ones are just my stuff for a thing called Git. But anyway, I happen to have my content folder under Data Art Animation, uh, Anime Studio Content, Studio Pro, and then Scripts. And so you'll notice that I have mine under the basic examples um, and different things. These are scripts that I've written. And so Anime Studio knows to go to this location and load these, these up, just like it does with characters and all other content. And so what will happen is, if you've got a menu script, it'll show up here. And if you've got a tool script, it'll show up there. Now, if you don't know where your custom content location is, go to the Help and look down here and you'll see custom Open Custom Content Folder. And that will show you. It'll take you directly to your custom content folder. And scripts are just one of them. There's library and all other kinds of information there. Now, if you haven't already created a custom content folder, you can do that by clicking on the Set Custom Content Folder. And you can change it whenever you want. Now, if you're dealing with tools, it's just a little bit more complicated than that. For every tool script, you will also have at least one icon associated with that. And then you'll have two files, potentially, if you've got uh, version 11, um, a reference tool list, and uh, the tool list.txt. And I'll talk about those in a second. But let me switch over here to the one that comes out of the box in the normal An Anime Studio tool location, and you'll see that there's large and small icons. Uh, so uh, you can have more than one icon that might be there. But those icons are the things that show up in your uh, tool list. Okay, so notice how my tool list over here, I have different groups, a lip sync group and some other things. Um, so how do I organize these tools? Well, there are two files and you don't really need to know much about them because it used to be that you manually modified this tool list file. But really with the newer versions of Anime Studio, you don't want to do that. Now the Anime Studio documentation will talk about these reference tool lists and the tool lists um, to explain what they are, but the way you want to really deal with the tools is through the uh, interface. So what I want to do is I go to Edit, Preferences, Tool Layout, and there you can see all the different tools and how they're organized under groups. And so you can, um, when I click on a particular location, I can add groups, 
I can add a thing called a spacer, and I can move things up and down. And so I can organize them. And then, of course, I can restore factory defaults. And you probably should click this automatically update tool list when defaults change, because if you update your Anime Studio, it'll keep track of that for you. Now, the one challenging thing about scripts is it's uh, hard to find. Uh, there's not really a, a simple single place where all the latest scripts are. So you'll have to look around for things, but in the Anime Studio forum, there is a section specifically on scripting, um, and they have uh, links in here for documentation if you actually know, know how to write computer code and wanted to do that. Um, perhaps the best uh, script uh, link that I know of is the Anime Studio scripts, um, and I'll put a link in, in the YouTube section. They are typically older. I haven't seen uh, new scripts added to that regularly, um, but they are uh, nice scripts. Some of them have already been incorporated into Anime Studio, but this is a good place to start, and you can go to tutorials. And uh, I believe his name is Giles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, he has some good uh, descriptions there. And then on the Smith Micro site underneath the webinars, um, there are some good um, discussions on um, scripts uh, by Vern Zare and uh, Wes Fowler. So there's some really good things there. And they go into a lot more uh, discussion about the scripts. But I just wanted to do a quick uh, overview of things, especially since uh, this edit preferences um, thing I haven't used before. I, I hadn't used before and I found out about that and wanted to share that. And the other thing, I just wanted to let people, uh, if you wanted to use some scripts but you just were afraid and you didn't know how to do it, it's just really as simple as putting it in the right location. Oh yes, one other thing that I want to mention, if you happen to be a computer programming savvy and you write your own scripts, um, I would suggest, um, if you have Anime Studio Pro, go underneath the script writing and you can start there. and they have some good examples there. That's what I would start with. And they're even descri described in the uh, uh, documentation. And here's another really interesting thing you want to know. Control Shift Alt L will reload the scripts. So if you make a change to your script and you want to reload it into your uh, Anime Studio, Control Shift Alt L. All right. I hope that's helpful.